Hey, hello and welcome to my video. Um, Nigel Dix here. Um, I'm your offline to online mentor and coach, 23 year veteran in the ATM industry. And what I basically do is I help you get into business online and offline, stay in business and make more money. Don't get ripped off basically. So I want to talk to you today about the misconceptions of my industry, ATM machines. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions has been the banks own all the ATM machines. Well, I'm sorry to say, they don't. I mean, if you walk into a liquor store or a bar or a flower shop or um, you see an ATM on the markets, some of the outdoor markets, those ATMs are owned by people like you and I. So the banks own the big ones, obviously they do own some. They generally don't do it for the surcharge like we do. They make their money from the exposure people becoming their customers. Um, one of the misconceptions is, well, will it cost me loads of money to get in the ATM business? Um, no, not unless you do it wrong like I did 23 years ago. I mean, if you're like me 23 years ago, you go out and spend, borrow $30,000 and lose it in six months in the ATMs. Yeah, it'll cost you loads of money. But generally speaking, no, you can get in the ATM business for very little or no money at all. Um, you can even own machines without even buying a machine. That's another video for you. So no, it doesn't take a lot of money to get into the ATM business and I will show you. Just don't go out and rush out and buy an ATM and then look for a location. Just doesn't work that way, okay? Um, a big misconception, you have to buy an ATM to make money with an ATM. No, it doesn't work that way either. You can certainly walk into a location and take over the location. By that I mean you walk in say, Mr. Merchant, uh, I see you have an ATM machine. And that's a conversation we'll go to a later video. But you'll say to him, well, I'd like to take over loading the cash in your ATM, the service of your ATM, save you the problems. And you would negotiate what it is um, you get what the uh, location gets and so on. Hopefully you give the location zero and you take the surcharge for the for the trouble even though you don't own the ATM. Uh, let's see some of the other misconceptions I have here on paper. Um, I have to buy an ATM location if I have an ATM machine. Well, no you don't. Um, what if my ATM goes out of business? I have to have a new location, I have to buy another location. No, you don't ever buy an ATM location, okay? If you buy an ATM location, it's the quickest way to lose your money. And that is bar none. Actually, no, there's one better way. Buy an ATM route. A ton of ATMs, the quickest way to lose your money. Businesses go out of business, they don't have a loyalty to you. Um, the contracts, if they're not written right, and the location makes money, you will lose. Don't do it, okay? Call me first. Um, you can always call me on nigeldix at yahoo.com. You can look me up on Facebook. I'm right there um, You can even look me up in the book. I'm in the book and the Nigel Dix D-I-X um, Okay, one big misconception um, One big mis misconception is um, I can buy an ATM or a route and do nothing just collect money Hey, if you can figure out um, if you can figure that one out give me a call because I've been 23 years and I haven't figured that out yet. The last time I tried that, <laughs> um, the person took all the money and I didn't see them again and they blame me for letting them do it. Uh, let's see, another misconception, I went to a webinar, they're offering if I pay them $30,000 or whatever the money is, they'll give me locations and they'll service them for me. I just have to buy the ATM and they'll give me the locations. Oh, and by the way, they'll guarantee me if they're looking to do well, they'll move it. Yeah. Uh, no. Doesn't work that way. Oh, they'll take your money. They'll give you a location. And if you got a good location, believe me, it was a lucky one. Because generally speaking, no one's going to give you... Let's say they charge you 30 grand for an ATM with the locations. And you get an ATM that does a thousand transactions you know or or you're making a couple of grand a month I mean they can make more than that per year 
um, as much as that per year on the ATM machine with a surcharge. So why would they give it to you? It doesn't work, guys. It just doesn't work that way. They'll try, but it doesn't work. Um, another misconception is the banks have to load the cash on the ATM machine. Or the bank does load the ATM at your local store. No, they don't because the merchant or someone like you will be the one to load the ATM machine. I mean, generally speaking, the other misconception is, well, that ATM, you obviously have to have 40 grand to throw in it. Well, I'll get into a little secret. Most ATMs have very little money in them. If it's the merchant owns the ATM, they'll probably load it every day. And they'll put $1,000 in, they'll put $2,000 a day in it. Um, someone like me, if I own my, if I go around my ATMs, I'll load them once a week at the very highest. I generally do not risk my cash, um, risk my cash for more than seven days. Oh, another big misconception, well, ATM machines get robbed a lot from bad, bad areas. Well, the truth is, some of the locations in Compton, LA, LA, are safer than Huntington Beach and Irvine. You know, real nice, prestigious areas. Um, just to give you a little bit of fact background on that, in Huntington Beach, California, Irvine, California, Oceanside, they don't have the security like they do in LA. LA, they've got bars on the doors. They are ready for that person to come rob them. They are ready for you. But in Huntington Beach, Irvine, oh, we'll never get robbed here. There's no, the people get robbed there all the time. Well, no, I shouldn't say they get robbed all the time, but some of my robberies, the items I've lost with my merchants, have been from really nice areas. My Los Angeles areas, my Comptons, the only thing you've got to worry about there, obviously, is the people and loading the cash. But generally, there's a lot of security guards around as well, so... We'll go through that how and when you load money in another video. Um, oh, I think I went through that. You have, oh, you have to have money or have to buy an ATM to, uh, to make money? No. I, I just went through that a little bit. But basically, you can make money in the ATM business and not have a single dime. But you do have to put the legwork in and the, uh, you've actually got to put the work in to go find the locations. I mean, you can go and find... Um, events that want ATM machines and you can negotiate with them and you can tell them hey Mr. Merchant I see you've got this great event going on you've got a fair going on a circus coming to town can I put an ATM in for you they don't know you, don't, you haven't just they don't know that you just got in the business they don't know that you don't have an ATM they don't know that you haven't got a clue but you're gonna come to someone like me or another company ABC company and you're going to pre-negotiate with them. If I find a location, uh, would you accept two dollars, three dollars a transaction to put the uh, ATM and load it? Well, obviously you would take the difference, and you're usually going to charge about three ninety-five to do a show. Los Angeles, you can probably get four ninety-five, and in some areas you can get higher. Generally speaking, three ninety-five is about the surcharge you can go with. Anyway, um, that's a few misconceptions about the ATM. I will be doing more videos. Please look me up on uh, Facebook. Um, call me if you have any problems or any questions. I'll give you free advice. I'll mentor you if you need it. Just don't get ripped off, guys. If you comment at the bottom, if you have questions, call me and ask your questions, and I will talk to you on the other side on the next video. Thank you very much, Nigel Dix, uh, online, offline to online mentor and coach. Thanks guys.